Hello, great people, great family, great friends. How are you on today? Listen, I want to just drop this uh, nugget into your spirit um, as God shared it with me on today. Um, I want to bring you back to the book of Exodus, chapter 3, and I'm referencing the message version. Y'all know, those that know me, you know I love the message version. Sometimes it gets a little bit hardcore, but I just love it. <laughs> I love it anyway. So anyway, uh, we all know the story that Moses was shepherding uh, the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. There comes a point in the scripture where the angel of God appeared to Moses in flames of a fire blazing out of the middle of a bush. And so Moses looks up and the bush was blazing away, but it didn't burn up. Right. Y'all remember this? All right. Stay with me. And so Moses says, what's going on here? I can't believe this. I love the message version, y'all. It's like a whole dramatic story movie. <laughs> and he's like, amazing. Why doesn't this bush burn up? And I love that. Let me tell you, when God has a word for us, he going to keep the fire burning. He's going to keep the light on. He's going to stay right in place so that he can deliver the message, the task, the assignment, the reminder, the refresher that we need as we move forward in our journey. I love that about the Lord. So here's this bush. It doesn't burn up, right? So God saw that that uh, Moses had stopped to look. And so God called him from, from out of the bush and he said, Moses, Moses. And so Moses says, yes, I'm right here. And so God said, don't come any closer. Remove your sandals. Remove your sandals from your feet. You're standing on holy ground. Let me tell you, I know we've heard this scripture before, but I just love it because it reminds us of a couple of things. One is when you think about the shoes, he told him to take the shoes off and he told them to take them off because he is standing on holy ground. And it made me realize that sometimes people can't experience the presence of God because they have not let go or taken off certain things that allow them to be in the place where God needs them to be so that God can deliver a message to them. And I want to know, what do you need to take off today so you can team up with God? What is taking hold of you? Or what do you like so much? Or what makes you look so good that's natural or worldly possibly that God is saying, take this off because you are in a place of holiness. I need you to be in a place where you can hear me. I need you to be in a place where it's only me and you, where nothing else around you matters. And I love that. So it's almost like God is saying, hey, y'all, what are your shoes today? What are, you, what, are your, what are the things that you need to take off today? What, what's on you? And, and, and know that we're, we're giving this as, a, as an example. And so what I love about this is that taking off our shoes or taking off whatever it is that God is asking us to do out of obedience, it's saying, God, whatever you got to do, do it. I, I surrender it all. I let it go. I'm right here. I'm at your feet. What do you have to say? I, I want to hear it. I want to know it. I'm your servant. Um, I'm your child. Thank you, God, that you have a message to send me. You have a message to give me. Even in the midst of storms, God, you still have a message to give me. Even when things seem to be okay, God says, I still have a message to give you. It is a posture of surrender. I love it. It's an I'm all yours type of posture. And God is waiting for so many people to get into a I'm all yours type of posture. So he he can give you the next step to the works he has called you to do. You cannot do your works on your own. So God is going to be sending burning bushes to those who are saying, I want to be established in hearing the voice of God, not hearing the voice of the world, because whatever God needs to tell me, I want to hear what it is word by word. And I want to know that it's him and not man. And I want the assignment to be successful because I know I'm about to face some giants. I know I'm about to face some stuff. Stubbornness. I know I'm about to pay, face some people that might question what's going on, but I want to know that God is with me. And I love the fact that when God begins to give him the instructions, he gives him these instructions first, right? And it, it wasn't until he took off, Moses took off what could cause conflict, my God, in a holy place that God began to say, then I am, I am God. It was not until those sandals came off. It's not going to be until you take some things off that will cause conflict while you are in a holy place. It's not until you do that, that God will then begin to speak and give you your instructions. Some people are holding on to things and holding fast to certain things, trying to do it their way. And God is saying, take it off, remove it, let it go. Once you do that, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I've been seeing. I'm going to give you instructions 
instructions of how to do it. I'm going to answer all your questions and then we're going to move on in. And so I really want to encourage somebody today to be reminded that God is waiting for you to take some things off. He wants you to be in the posture of surrender. That's really a humble position. My God. That's really being a place of uh, humility. Um, it, it's, 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 it's something about standing on holy ground when he talks about this too in the scripture because it lets us know when we're, in, when we're standing in a place that God has deemed a holy place, a holy ground, our feet are touching that area, we have been consumed with his presence. We're consumed with his wisdom. We, we, we get the privilege to be consumed with his instruction. We're consumed with, with, with just being close to him, that intimacy with him. But we've got to take some things off when we stand in that place. There cannot be any more conflict or confusion in that place. So what do you need to take off to team up with God? My God, what do you need to take off to team up with God? Because when God and Moses went on uh, to, to, to do the assignment, they were a team. Some people are trying to do things by themselves. My God, Ooh, I, I'm, I'm trying not to go too far into tongues. Some people are trying to do things on their own understanding by themselves um, or trying to keep up with something. God is saying, I need you to stop, take it off. And get ready to team up with me. And the one thing I love about our God, Moses responded to hearing the voice of taking the sandals off. But God did not reveal who he was until he says, I am the God of your father. He told him, don't come any closer. Remove the sandals from your feet. You're standing on holy ground. Then... He said, I am the God. And he moves on and, and continues with, with context. Listen, some people are going to have to remove some things and realize the purpose behind the removal is for a reward. The purpose behind the removal is for a refreshing. The purpose behind the removal is for direction, is for restoration, is for increase, is for prosperity. There is more in store behind the removal of something. But you have to get in position to, to know what that looks like, know what it feels like once you're there. So God didn't reveal who he was, but out of the obedience of Moses, and, and, and of course there's revelation throughout these, these, these passages of scripture, even prior through that, I'm not going into all that. My point is, is that God reveals himself after he put him in, or basically instructed him to get in a posture to receive the instructions to receive what needed to be said and to, to let him know, God says, this is who I am. Do you trust God enough to know what his voice sounds like or a voice that is, uh, that is, that you know is of God that can lead you, that you can be obedient to and realize that it just takes your faith to be in that posture and know that God has your back. Are you ready to take off to team up with God? Mm, mm, mm. In that scripture, it goes on a little bit more. If I had time, I would go on further, but I know time is passing. I love it how he says, this is who I am. I'm the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He goes on. And in this time, Moses hid his face, afraid to look at God. And so God begins to explain what he has seen. You know, God has seen so many things in people's lives, but you won't know it. You keep praying, you keep crying, you keep being frustrated about it, you're bitter about it, you're talking about it, you're gossiping about it, but God is saying, I didn't see this, but he's waiting for you to get into position to let some things go, some people go, some situations, circumstances, um, some things on your plate. So that you can hear that he's been with you all along. He knows what's going on and he has a response to the affliction. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, when I was growing up in California, I loved walking barefoot in our neighborhood. You know, that was so many years ago, y'all. I'm, I'm truly an auntie. But it, it was so, I love walking barefoot. If I have, if I, it was either barefoot, flip flops, or of course, going out, you wear your heels or whatever. But just a regular day, you throw on your tank top sweats and some flip flops, take those flip, -flop, flip flops off, hold them in your hand, and you walk in the uh, barefoot on the sidewalks, feels so good. 
life was a lot different than of course, but um, it was something about my feet feeling the warmth of the cement, the warmth of the pavement. There was such a freedom attached to walking in that natural posture for me. And um, I think that is why as I became a dancer, dancing with no shoes was my preference. You know, modern and lyrical, that's my preference, you know, with so that my feet could feel the ground and touch and feel the movement. You know, it started in childhood. And so I just wanna encourage somebody tonight that whatever you need to take off or change up um, or get a little bit uncomfortable to get comfortable, do it now. Do it now. Team up with God. Team up with God. Take it off and team up with God. And I believe that you will see that your, your best is truly yet to come. If it's not already here, God is just waiting on you. He's just waiting on you. Listen, that's all I have for tonight. God bless you. I pray you receive something in that. Go back and read the message for yourself or maybe share it with somebody or let the Lord reveal whatever else he wants to reveal to you. There's so much more in those few um, first verses of that passage of scripture. God is just so good. God bless you. I love you. I pray you have an amazing evening and I will see you next time. All right. Good night.